sneaking around like that. It's my house too, okay? Ex Excuse me while I go kill my brother. Oh, just let me handle this. Hey, it's the Pugster! What's up, little man? Are you trying to be cool? Uh-huh. Because you're not cool. Your sister thinks I'm cool. She'll get over it. Aren't you a little young to be smoking? I'm under a lot of stress right now. My sister's having an identity crisis. Okay, well, we're gonna go. Can I come? Sorry, Pugs. I'm with Lucas now. Bye. But wait, wait. What if she never tortures me anymore? How could I manage? What if she never nails my tongue to the bathroom floor? What if she walks away, leaving me a-okay, hiding each power tool? Why would she be so cruel? on the bright side of life. Hi, Grandma. Hey, Dad. How's life? Too long. Tell me about it. Hold on. What are you doing? Restocking. Grandma's private stash. Herbs, potions, remedies. Nature's candy. No prescription needed. What's this one? Peyote. What's it do? It uh, makes you run around naked in the woods. What about this one? Buku leaf. Got someone giving you a hard time. Maybe. Sprinkle a little of this on his toast. An hour later, he's in a padded room screaming, I am Spartacus! Grandma, what if there was this girl who met this person and he's all like, hey, it's the Pugster, what up, little man? And she's all like, golly, and we're gonna go now. And they're running away together. What would you give her? Nothing! She's your sister. Be happy for her. But what if she doesn't get rid of him? What if all the good times are already behind me? That's life, kid. Tell me about it. What's this one? Acrimonium. You want to stay away from this baby. Why? It takes a little bit. It brings out the dark side. What do you mean? One swing of this, and Mary Poppins turns into Medea. I don't understand your references. Quit the damn text. She 
always been Till then I'm just a strange Fat Another magnificent feast, all thanks to my fabulous lady wife, from whom I keep nothing. <laughs> this dinner has put me in mind of my great ancestor, Hector Fernando Escodindo Chimichanga. <laughs> a man hated by the church, but clever with a quip. In fact, while being burned alive, he told the priest, keep it pink in the middle, <laughs> a little crispy on the outside. Thank you, dear. And now it's time to play the game. Please, not the game. But it's a family tradition. Huxley, could you just go away and die? I will if your boyfriend will. Gotta. Maybe the game's a bad idea. No, it's a good idea. And if it's not, someone will be sleeping on the couch for a very long time. Actually, the game's a good idea. In fact, the best of all ideas. What kind of game? We call it Obligación de Revelar. Oh, Spanish, what does it mean? Full disclosure. Exactly. Everyone ships from the sacred family chalice. And reveals a secret they've never told anyone. Loosely based on the Inquisition. And you have to absolutely tell the truth, or what? Or there are consequences. I don't think I'd be very good at that game. Oh, sure you would. Oh, no, 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 no. And now Gomez will break the ice. My husband has something he needs to disclose. No, no, the host goes last. Lurch, the chalice, please. This is the sacred chalice from Adam's family's past. Firm, a digitalis held fast. Die cast. Here in the sweet libation, salvation resides. Feel the sweet sensation, revelation provides. Full disclosure, it's a game that we play. Let your darkest secrets give you away. Face your demons and then happily say, I'm playing full disclosure with all these crazy happy people. Full disclosure, it's a hell of a thing. Oh. What's the favorite of the lightning shouting? Oh. Doesn't matter if you're right or left wing, he loves his fall. Yes, well, my disclosure is in the form of a fairy tale. Once there was a man who had a beautiful wife and two beautiful children. A humble man, I say, and, with, and within his breast beat the heart of a loyal and steadfast husband who treasured his wife and worshipped the ground she walked on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and one day, a fox appeared and gave him a beautiful box of rare wood and Spanish leather. What's in the box? asked the kindly man. And the fox said, nothing important. Just a little secret. But you must never, ever open it. And the man took it home and his beautiful wife said, well, let's open it anyway. And the man said, don't push it, honey. We got a good thing going. So they never opened it. And they lived happily ever after. Full disclosure. Well, we'll just have to come back to you now, won't we? Wednesday's turn. Pass. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, yes, Fester. Fester. Let's hear from Fester. The chalice. I am in love. <laughs> You're probably asking, what could a fat, bald person of no specific sexuality possibly know about love? But I, too, am in love. Fester loves. Oh, Fester, who is it? The moon. The moon? He's in love with the moon. Yeah, that's normal. <coughs> that's the most, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Oh, I haven't told her yet. Oh. Oh. Full disclosure. Full disclosure, just embrace it and swoon. Embrace and fall in love with the moon. He loves that moon. Close your sermon with a signature tune and call it full disclosure. Wednesday, your turn. No. We should have put you down years ago. <laughs> All right, Wednesday, your turn. Not yet. Daddy, talk to her. I've still got the fox box problem. Wednesday, the chalice, please. Where's the chalice? Yes! Now with a dash of potion, my sister blows her cool. Hopefully in slow motion, she'll drop, she'll drool. One swim of acrimonium, and then she will change. Boy, oh boy, her full disclosure's gonna be straight. Hit the truth like Babe Ruth. La, 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 la. This is torture, lightning, impact, and truth. My wife is clearly not herself, so if you'll excuse us, we'll just be on our way. No! We're in the middle of the game, so button your lip and sit your ass down! Alice, I think you've had a little too much to drink. 
remember how it used to be, Mel. How we'd look at each other and leave the restaurant in the middle of dinner and rush home and go upstairs. And sometimes we couldn't even wait. You just pull the car by the side of the... Lighten up, Lucas. Parents, do it. Live with it. Remember, Mel, when we were crazy and the future didn't exist? What happens, Mel? The guy with the Grateful Dead t-shirt. Is he ever coming back? How long do I have to wait? A woman waits for marriage. A woman waits for children. She waits for her big mouth to come back home. At five o'clock or six o'clock till it's nine. That's too dark even for us. Wow, that story was grim. grim. Filled with fear and loathing up to the brim. That's quite a brim. Just imagine being married to him. Okay, Adams. I tried. I thought, okay, the kids like each other. Let's give it a shot. But you people are insane. You've got a house where there shouldn't be a house. A zombie for a butler and a man who is staining the moon. Oh, excuse me. I wouldn't exactly say we're dating. We're simple people, Mr. Adams. We're not used to your sophisticated New York lifestyle. So with your permission, we're going back to the real America. Full disclosure. Lucas, help your mother off the table. Oh, you were right, Lucas. Right about what? Thanks anyway, Daddy. Thanks for what? No, we should have just told them. Told me it what? It doesn't matter. Lucas and I love each other and we're getting married. What? Married! 